Welcome, Facebook live stream viewers. I'm so happy to have you joining me for my inaugural show, my inaugural live stream of 2020. This is Change It Up Radio, and I'm doing something different today. I am live streaming from my personal page rather than the radio page because we will share it to the radio page, but there are more of you out there on my personal page, and we thought, we just try capturing some of you by live streaming on this page today. So thank you for joining me. And we are going to have a great show today. I'll be giving a lot of tips and talking a lot about things we can do to truly start the year off right. And by the way, the decade, right? How often do we get a chance like that? Okay, so please stay with me. You're backstage, remember, here at KCBQ in San Diego, and we are about to record Change It Up Radio, so here we go. Tired of the rut you're stuck in, but don't know what to do? Change it up! Join Life Transitions therapist, speaker, and best-selling author Paula Shaw. She'll be exploring topics that make change and the challenge it presents smoother and more productive. She'll also be spotlighting change makers who are leading the charge to make the world a better place. If you're ready to live a more exciting life, at home, in the workplace, and around the world, it's time to step out of your comfort zone and change it up. Now, here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome to Change It Up Radio 2020. Isn't that exciting? I love the idea that we can have 2020 vision, which is going to bring so much more clarity to our projects, to our lives, to our words. 2020, here we all are together, and, and I think it's important that we take a minute and actually realize the significance of being at the beginning of a new year in a new decade. We have a shot at creating like we've never created before. We can take all the tools and all the lessons from the years that came before this one, and now we take all that wisdom and all that experience and apply it to what we want in a more focused, more precision way. Because we're wiser now than we were at this time last year, aren't we? Some of you had a horrible 2019. Some of you had an amazing 2019. But whether it was terrific or whether it was horrific, <laughs> it's all new right now, right here, right now. This moment is the only thing that's real. Everything else is past or future. One is already gone and the other doesn't exist yet. So why don't we focus ourselves with all our might this year on being present in this moment? So, in this moment right now, you are with me, Paula Shaw, your host of Change It Up Radio. And for those of you who haven't joined us before, let me tell you a little bit about Change It Up Radio. We're a show that's all about change. So, we either spotlight people who are doing amazing work in the world to make it a better place, and we bring them on as guests, and oh, we've had some incredible guests. Or we bring you information to help you deal with change in a more smooth, productive way. Change It Up Radio is addressing something that is a real issue with human beings. Change. It's the one thing we can count on, right? Whether we love our life or we hate our life, change is coming. Remember that old saying, this too shall pass? Well, it's true. Change is inevitable. And so the better we can get at dealing with change, the happier and the more productive we will be in our lives. So if you have interest in some of the shows we've done in the past and some of the amazing people that we highlighted, you can go to changeitupradio.com. That's changeitupradio.com. 
And my work, you know, I am an author, I am a speaker, I am a podcast production coach, and and I am uh, uh, the host of this show. I also have a private practice where I work with people one-on-one in helping them to cope with change. So if you're looking for a speaker for your conference or your, your business, or you're looking for somebody to train people on communication or podcast production, please go to paulashaw.com. That's paulashaw.com, and you'll see all the information you need there about the various things that I do out there in the real world. All right, so we talked about starting the new year right. And I want to share with you one of my favorite, favorite concepts for the beginning of a new year. I'd love to be able to see you all right now so I could say, how many of you made New Year's resolutions? Because isn't that what everybody thinks they're supposed to do at this time of year? You know, but, but what always happens to those resolutions? Oh, we do it for a little bit, maybe even a week, sometimes even two. But before we know it, you know, it's just become too problematic or we realize we really don't like that resolution we created for ourselves. And now we're not doing it anymore. And then we have to live with the guilt, with the feelings of failure, with the feelings of, oh, man, I did it again. I can never make my life better. So I've got an idea for you. And I've written about this in my blog every year for a couple of years now because I love the idea so much. So rather than resolutions, why not play with the concept of reset So let me tell you a little bit about reset. You know how when your computer's really wonky or your phone's doing crazy things, what do you do? You shut it down, you allow it to reset, and then you restart it, right? Think about that. If we were to incorporate that concept into our own lives, things are getting wonky, we're overwhelmed, we're in despair, or we... we, we, just don't know which way to turn, shut down. Maybe you do that through prayer or meditation or a beautiful walk out in nature, camping out for the weekend, sitting by a stream, whatever works for you, shut down. You know that old line, sometimes you have to slow down to speed up. So shut down reset, and then restart. Now, why do I like this idea of reset so much? Well, I love it because, first of all, it's sort of like a course correction. It's not a punitive thing saying you screwed up last year, you didn't do what you said you were going to do, and in fact, you didn't lose weight, you gained 20 pounds. Now, your resolution should be I'm going to the gym every day. I'm eating nothing but vegetables. I'm going to lose 30 pounds. Well, what a setup for failure, right? Because from word one, you're basing this action on something you weren't able to accomplish last year. So you're basing it on a negative experience. You're basing it on a failure. So rather than that, because let's face it, who out there, knows on January 1st the exact right things to do and say for their life, for their optimal good, for every single day of the coming year. None of us do. So is that saying don't have goals? Is that saying don't try to do things better and newer? No. But it's saying have some flow to what you do and be open to a course correction, to a reset, when a better option appears. So think about that. You know, there are so many reasons why I love the concept. First of all, it's not based in guilt. It's not based in failure. It's encouraging you to always move in the direction of something better. 
but it's not setting this, it's not building this impossible mountain that you have to climb over in order to succeed. Sometimes the most important thing we can do is just be present to what's going on. Then we experience it more fully, we learn more from it, we, um, I think we can just integrate it better because we're with it. We're not having 10 more things ahead of us we're thinking about or focusing on or trying to figure out how to do. We're right here where we are. One of the things my coach said to me that I so loved was she said, we want your life to be full, not busy. What do you think of that? Isn't that a cool idea? You want your life to be full, but not overly busy. You don't want to feel like you jump out of bed and start panting first thing in the morning because there's so much on your to-do list or so much that you haven't caught up on yet. And, and that speaking of that, no matter how busy your life is, no matter how big your job is, no matter how much you have to accomplish every day, set time aside for you. Whether that's 10 minutes to go outside and appreciate the garden or taking a walk in fresh air, I start my day every day with meditation. That's my treat to myself. I, I, and it gives me time to, to transition from being asleep to being fully awake and ready for my day. So find something that you love to do and build that in. Maybe you stop every hour and you do some breathing exercises. You walk outside, you take in some fresh air, you move around a little bit and you stretch and get your body moving and your blood flowing. Maybe that really works well for you, but do it. Say, yeah, I'm going to do that every hour, every couple of hours. I'm going to remember me this year. I'm going to fight for my well-being. I'm not going to get caught up in thinking my only value is in how much I accomplish. Because your value is in who you are and who you develop yourself to be in that moment. All right. We're going to go to a break now, and in our next segment, we're going to be talking about saying the right thing when you don't know what to say. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. Hi, Paula Shaw here. I'm so delighted to share with you that LifeWave has become our newest sponsor on Change It Up Radio. My family and I all use their tiny wearable patch technology, and the results are life-changing. My sister had lupus for over 20 years and has never slept well. Now she does. My mom's frozen shoulder simply went away. My favorite is the Age Reversing X39, a patch engineered to activate stem cells. Yeah, it's true. They really work to improve how you look, feel, perform, and heal. LifeWave patches use a patented form of phototherapy using frequencies of light to safely boost health and wellness at the cellular level with no drugs. Learn more online by visiting lifewave.com. That's lifewave.com. Hi, I'm Kelly Klein of One Trust Home Loans, Loan Coach Kelly. A while back, my business was in a slump, and it triggered a lot of self-doubt and fear, and it even had me questioning if I'd made the right career choice. So I booked a session with Paula Shaw, and after hearing my predicament, she explained that when we get into negative, self-sabotaging thinking, and we're being run over by our limiting beliefs, it's almost impossible to create positive outcomes. She helped me clear those destructive thoughts and beliefs using her cutting-edge energy psychology techniques. Not only did I feel a whole lot better after the session, but within two weeks, I had seven loans in my pipeline. I was so glad that I went to see Paula Shaw, and you should too. It really changed my perspective on life, business, and now my business is going great. 
You can reach her at 626-864-0756. That's 626-864-0756. 626-864-0756. Or check her out at paulashaw.com. That's paulashaw.com. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm delighted to be with you today. In this segment, I'd like to talk a little bit about something we talked about in my last show. My most recent book, I have written three books. First, I wrote Chakras, The Magnificent Seven, and then Grief, When Will This Pain Ever End, which is in my opinion, a wonderful compendium of articles, processes, tools, things you can do, actions you can take to help you move through your grief, not just endure it until someday you hope the pain will go away. Grief takes work. You know, getting through our grief requires action. And this book is a great guide for the kinds of actions that you can take to help you get through your grief. And then my latest book, Saying the Right Thing When You Don't Know What to Say. In my last show, we talked about that in depth, and we won't be able to go into quite that much depth today, but I'd like to review some of the important concepts of saying the right thing when you don't know what to say, because one of the the ways to make this year your best year ever is to have successful conversations, not just those conversations where you're discussing the game last Sunday, but conversations that are difficult, those conversations that involve feelings or that involve talking to people who are going through something tough or discussing something that's really bothering you or having that talk with someone you know is really bothered. Those conversations are much more difficult. We're all so great at the the light-hearted conversations or the more shallow conversations. But we, we tend to steer away from difficult conversations. We don't really want to have those difficult conversations. And I'd like to talk a little bit about why. Why do we do that? Well, one of the things is, remember, we were all raised by different mothers and fathers, even if you actually had the same mother as, let's say, your sister or your brother, your perception of her is unique. Your experience of her is unique. How many times have you talked to siblings that all grew up in the same home with the same parents, and they all have a completely different perception of what childhood was like? It's crazy, isn't it? And yet we've all been there. Because we're unique beings, we're, we're compiled in a unique way, and how we see the world and experience the world is unique to each person. So when we grow up and in a family, <clears throat> and the family values and expectations are of a certain thing, I'll give you an example in a moment. Then when we encounter people who were not raised with those same expectations and and experiences and values, it's difficult to communicate. It's difficult to be comfortable in that conversation. For example, if I grew up in a family where the family rule was, we don't talk about difficult feelings. We keep them to ourselves. We work through it ourselves. We are strong. We do not need outside help. So if that was a a family value, and, and actually my mother grew up in a family where she was definitely taught not to express pain, to the point that when she was giving birth to my daughter, the story is, um, not my, oh, oh my God, no. She was not ever giving birth to my daughter. She was giving birth to my sister at one point in time. 
I gave birth to my daughter. Now we got that straight. Let's move on. Anyway, but when my mother was giving birth to my sister, who was her first child, the story is that she did not even cry out in pain because she had been so well taught that that wasn't okay to do. Now, what if somebody with my mother's training encounters someone who comes from a much more uh, dramatic, histrionic upbringing where we talk about everything and we wail and we sob and we cry when we're hurting? Do you see that there's going to be a, a discomfort level for someone like my mom because they were taught this way was right. Now they're having to deal with a conversation with someone who was taught that another way is right. And so this comes up in many different ways in our family values, in our cultural norms. Um, you know, like in our culture, it's pretty much accepted here in America that you go to a funeral and you can cry softly and quietly but we don't get down on the floor and wail. We don't scream and cry. But in some cultures, that is how they express their pain. So when we are dealing with other people's differences, it can make communication tricky. We don't really know what to say. You know, we're, we're trying hard not to say, if, if I'm from the conservative upbringing, it's hard not to say, oh, okay, calm down. You, you know, you, you don't need to get hysterical because saying something like that is certainly not going to be helpful because it will be perceived as judgment. So these differences that we have personally, family-wise, culturally, these things come into play and can make it very hard for us to be able to communicate easily and successfully with someone. Another thing that we often forget is that our prior experiences and traumas can also impact this. So let's say, for example, I tried talking to someone at the office who got fired six months ago, and they started screaming at me and saying I should mind my own business. So you see now, let's say someone else that I really care for has just gotten fired. I'm going to be a little more reticent about whether or not to try to have that conversation because I have a prior experience and trauma that's saying to me, whoa, don't walk into doing that again. Don't do that again. Remember what happened last time? So sometimes our prior experiences and our traumas can make communication difficult. Another thing that's really important to remember when you're communicating with anybody in any conversation is remember who they are. We all have different styles of personalities. There are many systems that explore this. But so some people are that kind of cut to the chase type. Let's just give me the facts and let's get it done. Some people are very chatty and social, and they, they love to hear all about your family and all about what you did on your vacation. Other people are very gentle and loving and nourishing and nurturing, and they want to know how you feel, and they're happy to listen while you explain things about how you're feeling and what an experience was like for you. And then other people are just very, very factual. If that's not based in science, I'm not into it. I don't want to hear it, that sort of thing. So remember to also take into consideration who you're talking to. Because if you're not using words or you're not speaking in a style that person can relate to, they're not going to hear you as well. Very important. So not only is it important what you say, it's important how you say it being cognizant of who you're saying it to. So in ending this, let me give you the five steps of comforting effective communication. Number one, set your intention. Intention is a powerful way of telling the energy how we'd like it to show up. So even if it's as simple as my intention is that this conversation is going to be smooth and easy and will help and comfort my friend. 
That's an intention. That's telling the energy the direction you'd like it to go. Number two, be present. When you're having that conversation, don't be thinking about the game tomorrow. Don't be thinking about your grocery list. Tune into what they're saying because there's an energy that you put out when you're present that invites more and deeper communication. If you're gone, people know it, even if you're on a phone. I can always tell when someone I'm talking to is suddenly answering a text or, or looking at their email. So be present. Have a mindset. This is number three. Have a mindset of just listening and not being into judgment or criticism. Just be there for comfort and support. That also invites the highest level of communication. Number four, listen. This is the big key to life as far as I'm concerned. Listen to what people say. That will help you know exactly how to respond to them. It will help you say the right things because you're present to them. And finally, when it is appropriate to respond, respond from the heart, not the head. Unless they've asked you for a mathematical equation or an absolute fact, when you're dealing with people who are feeling something intensely or who are going through a tricky time, they need communication that comes from your heart, not from your intellect. They don't need your database. They need your humanity. And that will naturally come forth if you are present and listening with the intention of not judging and not criticizing, but comforting and supporting. And that's the five steps to creating true effective communication. All right, when we come back, we're going to do a little reminiscing about last year. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. If you could rebuild your health on a solid foundation, would you do it? Do you have health issues that doctors just can't get to the bottom of and all they do is prescribe pills to lessen your symptoms? Would you like a better way? Certified FDN practitioner Desiree Lawn founded Autoimmune Health Freedom because she struggled with health issues from childhood that could not be explained. Today, she lives a vibrant life, free of aches and pains and full of energy to enjoy activities with her family. The life you would like to live. How did she do it? Autoimmune Health Freedom has the tools you need. For a free discovery session, call 858-248-1657 or go to autoimmunehealthfreedom.com. That's autoimmunehealthfreedom.com. Yes, you can feel better again. You can rebuild your health. You can have the life you want. Call 858-248-1657. Desiree Lawn is not licensed by the state of California as a healing arts practitioner. Is living in today's fast-paced world making you feel stressed and out of balance? Are anxiety, sleeplessness, depression, lack of focus, or weight gain robbing you of your relationship and your energy? If you're ready for change, you need to call Paula Schott. Paula helps you identify and eliminate self-sabotaging thinking and behavior. Using a wide variety of mind-body techniques, she provides her clients with the most effective processes for their specific needs. To book a session with Paula, call 858-480-9234. That's 858-480-9234. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio, here with Paula Shaw. First show, we're live streaming, first show of this new year. And we're talking a lot about ways to make this new year a truly great year. Doesn't have to be your best year ever, but that'd be cool, wouldn't it? So yeah, we're talking about setting those goals, but being open to what life brings and being open to a reset if we need to take the time to do a reset, if that makes better sense. So one of the things that I think is also wonderful to do at the start of a new year is to think back on some of the memories 
some of the experiences that were truly great last year. And so in this segment, I want to talk a little bit about some of the, the people and the shows that we did last year that I think had particularly strong messages. And I really want to urge you all to go to changeituprradio.com. Changeituprradio.com. If you go to the tab that says Listen In, you're going to find graphics and, and beautiful pages of information on every show we have done. We are somewhere around 90 some odd shows at this point, and, and we've had some amazing, amazing guests who are doing incredible things in the world. I'm going to talk about some of them now, but I urge you to go to the website and spend some time when you're driving in your car or, you know, by the way, I think most of you are aware, we podcast this show, so we're on every major podcast platform. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can ask Siri or Alexa or whatever your podcast icon is uh, on your phone, on your computer. You can just uh, plug in on the search bar, change it up radio, and we will come up. So I urge you to listen to some of our past shows because I always try to bring guests on this show who are change makers or who have valuable information to share to help you better deal with change. So some of my favorite things from last year, first of all, we are sponsored by LifeWave Phototherapy Patches, which I am wearing every day of my life because they are amazing. They use no drugs or chemicals, and they prompt the body to do specific things. Some of the patches erase pain. Some of the patches give you more energy. These are energy patches I'm wearing that I'm showing to our Facebook live stream viewers today. Their latest patch, which is kind of a little miracle worker, is called X39, and it activates stem cell production, creates reversal, age reversal of the cells. It enhances sleep, enhances energy. It does so many incredible things. We love X39. So LifeWave is definitely an important part of my life. I am in the LifeWave community, and I, I co-host their podcast, so they are very special to me. And if you want to explore these patches, if you want to see what they're all about, please go to lifewave.com forward slash safe health. That'll bring you to my site, lifewave.com forward slash safe health. Tom Palladino has sponsored us, and Tom Palladino offers a free scalar energy trial. And scalar energy, as Tom has explained to us many times, goes into viruses and into bacteria and sort of blows them up from the inside. It destroys the scaffolding that makes them able to, to have form and to exist. So scalar energy, it, Tom is, is working to help rid people of Viruses that they say you cannot get rid of, like HIV, herpes, Ebola. Check out Tom and his work and get a free scalar trial at scalarlight.com. And that's spelled S-C-A-L-A-R-L-I-G-H-T.com. Sherry Blair has been our sponsor. and She is a financial consultant that specializes in working with women although she does work with you guys as well. Sherry is amazing at what she does. She is very on top of the information, and she is a lot of fun. And she, too, offers a free consult. So you can find her at Sherry Blair, spelled C-H-E-R-I-B-L-A-I-R dot com. And Desiree Lawn, whose commercial you probably just heard on the show, also offers a free consultation for those of you dealing with autoimmune disorders. 
She's been through it herself and brought herself to the side of healing and is now doing the work to help others get there too. Desiree is a beautiful human being. She's also been a guest on our show. And in fact, her show is number, let me see here. I was going to talk about it. Number 79. You will hear Desiree Lawn talk about freedom from autoimmune disorders. And her website where you can go to schedule that free consultation is autoimmunehealthfreedom.com. Autoimmunehealthfreedom.com. That's Desiree Lawn. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the shows. Oh my goodness. We have so many amazing shows that we have done over the years. One of our most recent that I I really loved was the show we did with Summer Stefan and Adam Dodge. Summer Stefan is the San Diego district attorney, and she is leading the charge to fight against human trafficking and sex trafficking. And oh, she gave us such insight as to how this nightmare gets started for girls as young as 12, 13, 14, and boys. And she and her team here in San Diego are fighting throughout the country to help people to get free from human trafficking. And Adam Dodge is an attorney who has a a nonprofit called End Tab. And Adam is fighting to help people who are being harassed and abused online. So that was an amazing show. That's show 89. If you go to the Listen In tab on changeitupradio.com and then just keep scrolling until you get to the specific show that strikes your fancy. That was show 89 with Summer Stefan and Adam Dodge. Show 85 was with David DiGiorgio. And he talked to us about Comparanoia. Comparanoia is this this affliction in our society where no matter how good things are, we tend to then compare ourselves to others. And usually we don't fare very well because everybody else looks so good on the outside. But remember, we're comparing our insides to other people's outsides. We don't know what's really going on with them. But rather than comparanoia, you know, David DiGiorgio teaches people to be non-apologetic. He is working with, with high school kids, helping them to avoid being bullied and, and helping the bullies to find a better path. David DiGiorgio's work is amazing. Google him. And, and find out more about how to avoid comparanoia. My dad on show 84, that, oh, by the way, David's show was show 85. Show 84 my, with my dad, we talked about not just his experiences. My dad, as many of you know, was a veteran who fought in the invasion of Normandy. He was a medic at the age of 18 at that invasion and then suffered for 66 years with PTSD because there wasn't help back then. Now dad's battle cry is get help, reach out. There's no reason to give up years of your life to suffering. So we had a wonderful show with dad, really truly stressing to anybody, whether you're military or not, because PTSD can happen to anyone who's experienced trauma. Seek help. Life is short, and there's no reason to waste months, days, years of your life in pain. On show 83, Ryan Nell, an attorney who works with um, workplace issues, talked to us about cannabis in the workplace, because in many states now, cannabis is legal, and it's presenting a whole new set of issues. So especially if you're an employer, you want to go back and hear show 83 with with Ryan Nell talking about what you need to know about cannabis in the workplace. 
one of my other favorite shows that has actually changed my life was show 82 with Mariette Farmo. Mariette is doing work in Donovan State Prison here. Uh, her program is called Brilliance Inside. And she put on a TEDx event at the prison a couple of years ago, and we're working to produce another one. And uh, I was so impressed with Mariette. I went to the prison with her. Some of you may remember that Brahman Kiri, who was on another show a little while back, her show, by the way, you definitely want to hear it, was show 57. Brahman Kiri is also doing a program in the prison called Freedom on the Inside. And you definitely want to, <coughs> excuse me, definitely want to know about that. I went originally to the prison with Brahman Kiri's program, but after having Mariette on the show, I decided to go with her program, and it was amazing. And I'm now volunteering every Tuesday at Donovan State Prison to help them in their new TEDx program. And after this break, we'll be right back to tell you about some more of the outstanding shows you really want to hear. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. Jack Gutman survived World War II and then returned home to the hardest fight of his life with PTSD and alcoholism. Now at age 93, he's a businessman and comedian, sharing his message of recovery and hope in his new book, One Veteran's Journey to Heal the Wounds of War, helping our heroes and anyone who has experienced PTSD find happiness again. Get Jack Gutman's new book, One Veteran's Journey to Heal the Wounds of War, at Amazon.com. Or to order a signed copy, call 714-525-4954. For those looking to improve their lives, there's nobody better to turn to than Paula Shaw. Paula helps people regain successful lives by identifying and eliminating self-sabotaging behavior using a multitude of mind-body techniques to identify and resolve their core issues. Working with a wide variety of healing modalities, she provides her clients with the most effective process for their specific needs. To book a session with Paula, call 858-480-9234. That's 858-480-9234. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio. Delighted to have you with me. We're talking about ways to kick this new year off in the best way possible. And in the last segment, I was stressing to you that I think it would be really valuable to go back and listen to some of the shows that we did last year because we really work at having amazing people on this show to bring you important information. So I'm going to continue talking a little bit about those shows from last year to try to tease you into going to changeitupradio.com, clicking on the Listen In tab, and finding the show that really catches your eye or many shows that catch your eye. So we could not talk about last year without mentioning Carson Caldwell. Carson Caldwell is a 24-year-old young man who rode his bicycle barefoot across the United States, <clears throat> excuse me, from Philadelphia to California to raise money for the starving children in Yemen. He Googled where the most starving people in the world and it turns out they're in Yemen. And he dedicated the money that he raised on this ride, which took him three months, to gave all that money to the starving children of Yemen. Pretty cool for a 24-year-old young man, huh? Beverly Rubick. She was show 78. Beverly Rubick is a researcher and one of the most knowledgeable women you're ever going to meet and especially knowledgeable about the, the effects of radiation from our electronic devices. We did a show with her called Will 5G Hurt Me? And she gave us some very, very um, thought-provoking, impactful information about the realities of 5G and some of the things you can do to try to reduce your exposure to harmful radiation. So catch show 78, Beverly Rubick. 
David Schmidt, who is the CEO and founder of LifeWave, the company I talked about in last segment. In show 77, he spoke in depth about these phototherapy patches that his company has created that create physiological responses without drugs or chemicals. And uh, he talked a lot about his new patch, the X39, which actually is age-reversing and stem cell activating. So if you want to learn more about that, that show with David Schmidt was great, number 77. We also had a show with the vice president of marketing from LifeWave, show 86. That was Jim Caldwell talking about all of the products that LifeWave makes that can help boomers. And by the way, there are a lot of us boomers out there. And here is a natural way to enhance your health and your life experience. So you can catch Jim Caldwell in show 86 talking about the products for boomers. One of the most important shows we've done was with Torgan Johnson. It was show 73 talking about the nuclear threat that exists right here in San Diego County from the San Onofre nuclear plant. We have an issue there because the containers that the nuclear waste is being stored in are not thick enough to really prevent leakage, to really keep that nuclear waste in a safe environment. So Torgan Johnson is leading the charge to make people aware that we need change at San Onofre nuclear plant. That was show 73. Be sure you don't miss that one. Another one, you know, I keep saying my favorite, my favorite. Every one of these people impacted my life in such a huge way. You know, as I was saying in the last segment, you know, my whole life has changed because of Mariette Formo's show about the need for true rehabilitation in Donovan State Prison and what she and her programs are doing. Emily Howe, this was show number 72. Emily Howe, is with a nonprofit called Think Dignity. Oh my goodness, the work they are doing is so beautiful. They have portable changing rooms and portable showers and toilets that they bring to different areas of the city so the homeless can have a place to clean up. They, they showed a video that was so dramatic of a person waking up in their own bed and a person waking up on the streets. You know, those of us who wake up in our own home don't think twice about getting out of bed and going to the bathroom or doing whatever is the first thing we do in the morning. But a homeless person so often has nowhere to do that because businesses tell them, no, they can't use the facilities. Where are they going to go take a shower? Think Dignity is trying to provide this for people. Once a week, a hairdresser is at a certain location, and she cuts hair for free. It's just a beautiful, beautiful work. Um, and that's show 72 with Emily Howe and Think Dignity. And if you're someone who wants to volunteer, who wants to help the homeless, because it's a huge problem in our world right now, and particularly in our country, then please be sure you catch show 72 with Emily Howe. Dr. Rupa Chari in, in show 63 talked to us about ways we can work with our weight as we grow older because with age comes wisdom, but often what also comes is weight. Dr. Chari is one of my favorite humans in the world. She is also my doctor, and although she is an MD, she leans toward alternative medicine whenever possible. So don't miss that show with Dr. Rupa Chari. Dr. J.J. Sawyer in show 66 talked to us about the four basic types of people and the ways we need to communicate with them if we want to be heard. That's show 66. Bobby Brink, show 62. Oh, my goodness. She has a, a reserve called Lions, Tigers, and Bears here in San Diego County. She gives a home and food and shelter to 
wild animals, exotic animals who have been abused out there in the real world. She goes and gets them from these places where they're in abusive conditions and brings them to her sanctuary. Be sure you listen to her show number 62 about lions, tigers, and bears, or Google their work, donate. Any of these nonprofits, think dignity. Some of the ones I've been talking to you about, oh my goodness, if you're looking for places to donate money before tax time, then right here is all of what you need to know. Tim Ringgold, he has a program called Making Beautiful Music with Your Life. And he is working with people all over the country, helping them work through anxiety, depression, and all kinds of difficulties through the creation of music. Dr. Colvinder Carr, one of my dearest friends, she's a genetic researcher, and her show, Show 48, was groundbreaking as she talked to us about the fact that we don't just inherit from our parents our eye color, our hair color, the way we look. We inherit the genetic signatures of how they responded to life. Now, that's not even just our parents. It's our grandparents, our ancestors. They have passed down to us genetically the signatures of how they responded to life. So if there's a behavior or a response or a feeling that you have that you just don't understand, that doesn't seem to make sense, if you're always worried about running out of food or you're always feeling like you're not safe, it may have nothing to do with your life and the circumstances you've lived through. It may be part of your genetic structure, but there are ways to change that. And that's also part of the work I do in my private practice. And if you want to learn more about that, as I mentioned earlier, you can find that information at paulashaw.com. And, oh my goodness, Dr. Elisa Cicerone, show 39. Again, for those of you who may have just joined us, I am talking about some of the amazing shows we did last year and giving you the number of that show so you can go to changeitupradio.com, click on the Listen In tab, and scroll down till you find the show you're looking for. Dr. Lisa Cicerone, who is a naturopathic doctor who specializes in oncology, talked to us about neurotransmitters and how important they can be. And on that show, we were joined by a gentleman who wanted to remain incognito, but he was going through depression, sleeplessness, hopelessness. He felt like his whole life was falling apart, and he went to see her, and he did not need antidepressants. He didn't need anti-anxiety drugs. All he needed were certain amino acids, which they found through a saliva test that he was low. He had neurotransmitters that were very low, and with just adding certain amino acids, he completely turned around his symptoms in a few days. Oh, I wish we had more time because there are so many more shows I'd like to share with you. But please go to the website and listen in. Thank you for joining us for this show. Thank you for starting 2020 with me. Remember, you can hear us on Sunday evenings on AM 1170 and 96.1 FM at 9 o'clock. We're on every major podcast platform, including iHeartRadio, Blog Talk Radio. And if you can't remember all those things and where to find us, just ask Alexa or ask Siri. We look forward to seeing you next week as we all start the journey through 2020 together. Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Thanks for listening to Change It Up with Life Transitions expert, speaker, and best-selling author, Paula Shaw. Join the Change It Up movement with Paula Shaw as we explore topics that inspire, welcome change, and create a new kind of conversation. To learn more about Paula, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities, visit changeitupradio.com. Whether you're feeling happy, sad, mad, or glad, it never hurts to change it up. 
Thank you for joining me, Facebook live stream viewers. Thank you for helping me start this year off in a way that feels good. I hope you'll join us every week. We'll be live streaming now on Thursdays. We've changed our live streaming day. We've changed the recording day for this show because, as I mentioned, I will now be volunteering at Donovan State Prison every Tuesday. So join us on Thursdays at noon for the live stream of our show. And if you miss it, don't worry, because the video will remain there and you can catch it at a time that's more convenient for you. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week at noon on Change It Up Radio. Bye-bye. Have a great day.